Here comes another important tip from the Personal Defense Network. We're here at the Scottsdale Gun Club on the Titanium Members Range, and I've got the director of U.S. Palm, Rob Anderson, here with me. Rob, talk to me about this armor. This is uh, U.S. Palm's brand new 2011 lineup on body armor. Uh, we have everything from our brand new uh, concealed carry cut for law enforcement down to a spare bulks cut for uh, civilians. We have our very uh, popular air save plate uh, carrier and system, which is basically a standalone level four hard plates for civilians. And then we have our Defender series. And uh, today we can also speak about the different sizes we're just now offering them in small, the standard cut, and then extra large. Now I've seen the Defender series before and I'm a big fan of it, especially when it comes to home defense, personal defense, it's that go-to. And now you've got the small sizes for the kids and everything else over there. But I haven't checked out the hard plate before. Now talk to me about this, because this is something I haven't seen available to civilians yet. Yep, this is pretty neat. Uh, basically this was an opportunistic buy for us. We secured a, uh, a large quantity of these level four standard alone plates. They're actually multi-hit uh, 308 plates. And if you pull this out, you can see it's just your standard ceramic uh, plate. Now I've seen these a lot with different military students that I've had and I've test fired against these types of plates before. It's amazing what they'll stop, but I've never seen them presented like this for civilian home defense use. So that's pretty amazing that U.S. Palm has been able to bring these to market and at a price point that actually is pretty reasonable. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of our business uh, focuses is be able to bring uh, viable products to uh, the commercial user. Now, let's get back over here and look at these bigger vests, these law enforcement type vests. This is the kind of thing that you would see on a, on a SWAT team operator, somebody maybe in law enforcement that has a higher risk, higher profile. Absolutely, so this is our heat vest. This was designed in response to some local agencies that had to deploy in the middle of summer in Phoenix. So it's 115 degrees. These guys are out there all wrapped up uh, with basically early uh, 2000 technology. This is absolutely the pinnacle uh, in materials. We have the cooling spacer mesh. We have uh, Tier Tactical's uh, PV material, which makes it lighter. And it's basically designed so it's scalable. You can have everything stripped down uh, if you just need to hit the bushes with that. Or if you're doing a full entry, you can do the yokes, the collars, bicep, tricep, all that stuff. And this is exactly the kind of mesh exactly that we have right. inside of this vest, which creates those little areas for air to move through. Exactly Cool right. off a little bit. Yep. Awesome. Well, let's get to the Defender vest. The Defender vest is something that I know anyone watching the Personal Defense Network, keeping an eye on Personal Defense Network, is interested in what they can have in their home or in their vehicle at the go, ready to throw on at any time. And something like this is perfect even for the family. Absolutely. Um, the smaller sizes are perfect for females. Uh, we have actually a lot of uh, police, off-duty police people, uh, folks that uh, run these. The nice thing about them is that they come in different configurations. We have them that are all slick if it's inappropriate for someone to be a combatant, uh, or the handgun models, uh, AR, uh, et cetera. And the level of the armor in this? So these are, all have a soft armor solution that's 3A. And we're going to get to shoot some of this today and actually see exactly what that's going to do? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you being here to show us a line. We'll get this table out of the way. We'll get set up for the demo. And I look forward to seeing exactly what these will stop because I think they're a great option for people interested in maximum safety inside of their home or even mounted out of their vehicle. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks, Rob. All right, Rob, we've got our test set up. We've actually got a Defender vest on this mannequin, and we're about 21 feet away. This is the standard testing distance? Absolutely. So what we're going to shoot today is the standard 3A panels that come in the Defender series, which are built to the 04 standard. I think the interesting thing is everybody, when the new 06 standard came out, uh, they think that the 04 uh, isn't any, uh, relevant any longer. Actually, all it is is a little stiffer on the 06. So in this application, the 04 is absolutely 100% viable. Okay, so I've got nine millimeter, we've got ball ammunition loaded. I'm gonna fire one round and we'll take a look and see what that does. Excellent. All right. Take a look. Let's do it. Entry hole. And you know, and I think it's interesting to point out too, whenever you shoot into material, I think a lot of people are used to shooting paper. They don't even realize what some of this might look like. Absolutely. You know, so just take that chance to point that out. If you're ever in a situation where you have a family member and you're afraid they may have been shot, people are dealing with adrenaline, people are dealing with shock, you gotta look hard to make that's, sure and that's one reason why you everybody's feel. okay. That's yeah. right. So we can certainly feel that. I don't even know that we could see that real well from back there. And as we turn this over, we're not gonna see anything because that slug is definitely completely contained within there. Yep. Now when it comes to the rating, when it comes to this 3A rating, what do we expect as far as multiple hits on something like this? 
Uh, according to NIJ, it's one hit. Uh, in our testing, it's multiple hits. As long as you don't, which is practically impossible to do, stack them up on top of each other. This vest, uh, within an inch, if you have nothing within an inch of any of the strikes, should contain everything. All right, well, let's put a few more rounds into it. And of course, this is just a, a static dummy. It's a static yep. test. I'm standing still. There's no adrenaline. There's no real drama going on. So putting all the shots within an inch or two isn't terribly difficult. No. So I'm actually going to try to just go ahead and rapid fire, yeah, spread absolutely. it out around the vest absolutely. more realistically. Let's see what happens. And we'll take a look. So we've got shots spread out around the vest. We actually did, at this point, get two shots very close to each other. And sure enough, yep. that's where we had a little penetration. There you so go. not surprising, the vest did exactly what it was supposed to do. It contained one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different shots at 21 feet from nine millimeter and ball ammunition, not a hollow point that's gonna expand more rapidly, but as expected, two shots right next to each other did push through. And it's kind of hard to tell exactly how much push through we got and how much energy would be left, but the vest did exactly what it was supposed to do, and in fact, more than it would be advertised to do. Absolutely, and I think an interesting thing is that one of the 06 standards, uh, interesting point to make is that uh, it has to withstand a strike one inch from the edge. This is an 04 standard, and it still withstood that strike. Oh, yeah, that is, and that is literally right yep. on the edge. You can't yep. get much more on the edge. And, and that's, what makes, the it, and that's what makes the 06 so much stiffer, okay. uh, is to uh, accommodate that. So, again, that may or may not be something we would expect, but it did exactly. work here. Uh, the Defender Vest certainly has proven itself to me. Now, I've had one of these for a while. I got one of the early ones from you guys, and I do have it kind of in the closet ready to go, and people have seen it on some of the TV shows and stuff that I, when I wear it, I demo it. Um, I'm, I'm a little more confident in it now. Yeah. Certainly, I took your word for it, but it's nice to actually be able to test it. Well, we, yeah, we actually go out and test everything before we offer it to the public. Well, let's uh, get another one. Let's step up from the 9mm to 45. I'll let you put a few rounds into one. Excellent. Great. All right, we've got him set up. I raised him up a little bit. Your angle is a little bit higher than mine. Yep. Now, what are we going to be shooting this guy with? Uh, 45, 230 grain ball. Cool. I'll get out of your way. And we'll try one round first again. One round first. Perfect. Sure enough, entry wound right there. And one thing to take into consideration uh, when you're doing this and you start stacking stuff up, it does add a level of ballistic uh, protection. So magazines, flashlights, that kind of stuff. Absolutely. And of course, a little bit of a deformation there. I can yep. feel the slug in there, but nothing came through. Not surprising. Now, when you test these, and I know you've done a lot of extensive testing, what do you see in terms of performance in, when we talk about 9 millimeter versus 45? Some people would say, well, the 45 is heavier, it's going to push through faster. Some people say the 9 millimeter is smaller, faster, it's going to cut through. Yeah. Do you see any difference? There's a lot of internet rumors on that. Uh, a lot of people think like a 5.7, a little bullet going fast will go through. It's not the case. Uh, basically, it has to do with uh, the fibers grabbing the Projo and slowing it down. Okay. So not a lot. Um, you'll notice uh, when we shoot Bob here, uh, as the calibers increase, the more reaction he'll have. Sure, and, and that's, uh, again, uh, another myth about the, the body armor that some people have, is that magically the bullets are going to like bounce off of uh, you like no, Superman. You, if, if you get hit, you'll be sick. Yeah, but there, at least there'll be some be injury, but you'll be alive to feel that injury. Absolutely. All right, well, let's go back, and we'll let you spread out the damage, put a few 45s in there like we did with the 9, and see what happens after uh, four or five shots. Excellent. Perfect. And as we take a look, entry, 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 entry. And I think we may have had another one down here somewhere. Just get a couple in here. And it looks like we are completely clean. So that's a total of eight rounds of 45. Now, you can see where this is starting to bulk up and oh, yeah. pack up. All of that fiber in there is starting to get deformed, and that's what's going to create the gaps, as I understand it, where the next bullet might sneak exactly, through. Exactly, but I'll tell you what, that's a lot of hate. 
Yeah, yeah, it really is. To be able to absorb an entire magazine from a 1911 is more than one can expect when you purchase this off the rack, but this certainly will do it. Um, pretty impressive, pretty impressive stuff. Again, stepping up from the 9mm to the 45 and still seeing a level of protection that's going to keep me or someone else I care about safe. How will this do against a 12-gauge slug? I say it stops it. All right, and then buckshot also? Yeah. Well, let's try both. Excellent. Which should we do first? I will shoot the slug first. Okay, sounds good. And this is a two and three quarter inch, one ounce, 12 gauge Brennecke slug. Exactly. All right. Well, that's a lot of energy transfer. Let's go down and see what the vest did. I think you changed the channel. Yeah. Now this is actually the back of the last vest we shot and it's available obviously front and rear. A lot of damage was done but there's no slug that came through. No, nope, it's actually in there. That's I mean, it, it's really split the impressive. Fabric. Now, what does the rating say? What does it actually say as far as the 04 standard against this round? Even, two, even uh, 3A soft solution to the 06 standard, uh, not shotguns. It's not uh, supposed to stop a shotgun. 44 mag. So we want to be clear, US Palm is not saying that this is the standard, but out of my curiosity, we went ahead and shot it, and in this case, it did stop it. Yep. So that's pretty inspiring that the, the ar armor will actually as we've seen, multiple shots spread out and a round that it's not really rated for is still getting stopped. And obviously, whenever you deal with something like a rating and you've got life and death situations, people, officers, security agents are buying this stuff, expecting a certain level of performance. There's always going to be a safety gap there, Absolutely. I think, in the ratings. Absolutely. Uh, and that's what we're seeing right here. So not your claim, but I'll tell you right now that I'd feel much better wearing this than not wearing anything if someone were aiming one of these at me and firing a one-ounce slug. Let's set up another one and try the buckshot load, which it is supposed to stop. Correct. Perfect. Now, one of the things that I always heard, I mean, going back to the 80s, when we first started really seeing armor in regular use in law enforcement, we first started talking about armor, I can remember people saying you always wanted to make sure that your vest would stop your round. Absolutely. Now, number four buck is a very popular home defense round. This is a 27 pellet load from Federal. Let's see what the Defender vest does against this. Let's do it. Again, a lot of energy transfer there. Tight pattern as we would expect. Now the 27 pellets that are inside of that number four are relatively small. There's a lot of energy there. And that's the kind of thing that a lot of people might expect to see sneak through the fibers of the vest. Of course, we're using the back of one of the vests we already shot. And that's that nine millimeter pass through that we had. We're not worried about that. That was after the multiple shots. With the number four buck, 100% containment, everything's right there inside of the vest. Defender vest certainly stands up to what it's supposed to and more. I appreciate everything U.S. Palm is doing, and I'm very impressed with the Defender vest series. Excellent. Thanks, man. Thanks. Be sure to check out the Personal Defense Network for more important tips just like that one.